Hey folks, hey folks. This is Premi Kumar. Welcome, welcome back to our channel. So from this, this you would have recognized what the title will be and what the video will be. Yes, you all know my results have been out and we have passed with like flying colors. Wait, wait, wait. Not flying colors. Uh, in three subjects, I have passed with very, very minimum marks, like with three, seven, eleven marks from the. baseline marks like past marks and uh, in my favorite subject obstetrics and gynecology i have scored about um, decent marks like near to distinction like in with six marks my distinction went oh so it's not the business just keep it aside and we have entered the medical internship uh, as you all know i think most of you would have don't know if you are a non medical graduate um for us new guidelines have been kept by nmc and we have been following the new schedule we are sound in batch we are the first time following this new schedule we have been introduced to ayush postings and some extra elective posting for my roll number the first week posting is an elective which is chest medicine and for second week it is also an elective posting radiology today is my third elective posting lab medicine today is the first day you will be seeing the videos in nearby future uh, since our strength is only 92 in crri uh we, we are going to help to other departments uh, those who are in electives uh i went for og and pediatrics in og uh neco posting like neonatal in intensive care unit and pediatric intensive care unit i have went to this two wards for two nights like one or another night and another uh, week aside uh, for og i am going like every day uh like it's not a compulsion it's like help to our friends since very few, few people are only handling the wards uh, like uh, the labor board um pn ward labor icu so uh, we will go like assist them with writing notes or taking um complaints from the patients and uh, assistant pg ma'am sir sir um like checking vitals these are the some peculiar points are uh, some points before starting the video proper so as a crri what we people should able to know as a crri the main duty will be to write the notes because writing notes will be the main thing for a patient to be assessed our ap's uh, associate professors assistant professors hod will come and uh, examine the patient so the notes will be the very much important to know about the patient status like the vitals the complaints the diagnosis the treatment given everything will come under this notes and this is the very prime thing as a crr you should know other than this you should be able to know the prescription uh, prescription writing especially like writing the ip number date name of the patient age of the patient and from which department you are writing the prescription the tablets given the dosage given and especially the signature with date these are the a common points which will be in every department prescription writing these points you have to know and checking vitals especially blood pressure spo2 respiratory rate pulse rate the temperature uh, values these are things you should be mainly checking in vitals other than this knowing short forms uh, i felt very much tough to remember certain forms like dap uh, due to assisting physician dapp do it duty assisting pediatric physician slash b seen by ppfs postprandial blood sugar random blood sugar R rbs cbg capillary blood glucose these are some points uh, very short forms you as a crri you should able to know to refer everything uh, at least you should need able to remember doses for like common drugs paracetamol 500 mg RTVS, cetraxone, one uh, gram IVBD, uh, cefaparazone, sulbactam. I think one point five gram IVBD. I think so. I'm not sure. I'm now only learning more. So these are the some points as a CRRI you should able to know. Other than this, you should be able to wear your white coats, scrubs or uh, formals according to the department. Um, shoes, watches, watches is mandatory for every CRRI. Uh, you know the rules, I think so. Blah 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 blah. Dot C C C more of this all. So coming to the topic, chest medicine. Chest medicine deals with the patients, especially tuberculosis, affected with tuberculosis. Actually, the name is TB and chest medicine. In that, uh, we'll be going in the morning. 
they will be writing note for the patient by examining them and asking for complaints so i will come and check the vitals and we will be writing the vitals as of now there and um, sir will uh, look at the treatment of any uh, correctness that he will be saying it and we will be changing if any investigation how to be done sir will be saying that and we, are, we will write into the investigation sheet that patient will take it um, so the process is like this after that we will go to our uh, outpatient department we will be sitting there assessing our uh, physicians uh, we will be writing uh, prescriptions or uh, we will be examining patients we will be seeing that uh, chest medicine more or more often this will be like this and when the op gets over we will be going going to the um, ip uh, wards we will be seeing the patient if any complaints are we will note down and we will come to come back to our hostels uh, other than this we will be writing discharge summaries in uh, tb and chest medicine uh, overall for that one week we have been doing this only uh, we have seen cases like tuberculosis rock tests with the tuberculosis on ATT, ATT is, uh, anti tubercular treatment uh, copd um, Pneumothorax, these are the patients we saw. Next, radiology. Radiology we will be going about like 8 in the morning. We will be seeing our chest x rays mainly. X rays in common, MRI, CT scan, USD. Uh, our staff will be seeing the, these four things and they will be seeing the findings. We will be writing. Uh, then and there, they will teach the findings if any EDH, extra dural hematage, subdural hematage bronchovascular markings these are the points some points they taught us many things they thought i was able to i was able to remember only really so, these are the things they thought and we will be uh, writing the points uh, after 11 o'clock we will be assisting the ultrasound room ma'am uh, sir will be doing the ultrasound and we will be writing findings uh, these are the things we learnt in radiology basically analyzing the x-ray or mri or ct scan or ultrasound uh, we will be writing findings and they will be teaching some peculiar points then and there and we were able to grasp things. These are the points, there is no what nothing in uh, radiology. So these are the basic things uh, written in radiology. Coming to NICU and PICU. And NICU stands for Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. In that babies uh, neonates will be there and we will be writing notes. Uh, Postgraduates will be there and assistant professor will be coming. They will be examining the patient. They will uh, say the points and we will be writing, taking down. Uh, uh, the calls will be there, calls will be coming from labor ward or any LSCS operation center will be going there, we will be examining a newborn if any, they want any ICU care, we will be taking the baby to the ICU we will be writing the case sheets and we will be admitting them there and OGs, uh, it's basically labor ICU, labor board, labor ward, uh, antenatal ward, postnatal ward, immediate post-op like this many department are there, family planning uh, ward, there's like this many things are there I just went to labor ICU and labor ward as of now, that's helping now. So I just went there and labor ward, they will be seeing ultrasound, they will be writing notes. And I forgot to say a few things, per vaginal examination, per abdominal examination. Uh, like main thing in CRR is writing notes, writing notes, writing notes. These are the main things. Uh, it, actually it is funny to see in this video, but the real world is you will be writing, 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 writing. Yes, that is the Yes. We have inserted 4 catheter, induction of labor, um, catheterization we saw, check the vitals, I drawn the blood for the first time, I infused the injection for the first time, I injected septrax and injected for the first time, many first time, many 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 first time, first time blood uh, infusion, First time into blood bank, first time assisted in uh, surgery, like assisted means checking the newborn vitals, ah, not vitals, checking the patency, everything first time. First time, first time, first time, first time, first time, many first time we came across. First time uh, roaming with PGs, uh, first time like eating daily in canteens, <laughs> first time night duties, first time day duties, every first time. Uh, Two weeks was fun, chill. So still plenty of time is there. You will be seeing videos in the future. A few things to carry during an internship period. Carry a bag which contains biscuit packet, a chocolate, some red tubes, violet tubes, blue color tubes for collecting blood. You know those will not be available immediately or like 
கிடைக்காது உங்கள் கைக்கு ஸோ கீப் ஹேண்டி ஆஃப் திங்ஸ் ஃபியூ இன் யுவர் கோட் பேக்கெட் பென் எஸ்பெஷலி ப்ளூ பென்ஸ் மெனி பில் நாட் பி பிரிங்கிங் பென்ஸ் நோ யூ வில் பி ஹேவ் டு கிவிங் தெம் யூ ஹேவ் டு ரைட் தே வில் யூ யூ வில் நாட் பி ஏபிள் டு கெட் பேக் ஸோ கேரி மெனி பென்ஸ் ஆஸ் யூ விஷ் யூ யூ திங்ஸ் யூ ஹேவ் டு பிரிங் ஐடியா சார் கோஸ் லைக் ஷேர் சப்ளை பண்ண கமெண்ட் பாய் ஐம் லிட்டில் ஸ்லீப்பி ஸோ ஓன்லி ஐ வாஸ் ஷேக்கிங் கிளியர் அட் தர் இண்டிவிடியோ லைக் டோன்ட் டேக் இட் அஸ் அ வியர் திங் சாரி ஐ ஜாஸ்ட் ஆஃப் சேங் பாய்